did her undergraduate degree on the genocide there and it wasn't a situation that I knew anything about but you know I started reading and finding out more about the country and um, decided you know it sounded like so much opportunity for you know different experiences. It's such a vibrant place which was such a draw for me because you know I wanted to take pictures there and so it's sort of funny that I did some black and white because you know I like sometimes you pull all the color out of someone and uh, you still have a really interesting shot but it's not exactly you know what you saw and it was very good for me I think as a person because we encountered so much hope in people which is something that you know is always refreshing to see especially in situations where people can be hopeless and seeing people that were you know working so hard in situations that I can't even fathom having to deal with was really I think a good motivator for me uh, you know and put in some perspective the things that I think are monumental struggles in my own life, which aren't. <laughs> um, maybe the first step for people towards, you know, having some empathy for other people is just to try and go and, you know, see what kind of situations they're in. And that's what my favorite photographers do is they find stories and connect with people. And it's not about getting the best shot because you will get the best shot when, you know, people open up to you and are comfortable around you and that's something that I strive for for sure is being able to you know get people relaxed around me enough that you know I can really capture something about them that would be difficult to otherwise. I don't want to like spout cliches or anything but like I definitely just saw people and it was the first time that I was in a very different culture like that and the first thing that you realize is that people are just people, you know, and there's different situations and walls and clothes and houses and things that divide us, and borders and whatever else, but I mean, at the end, we all kind of want the same things. Um, it was interesting for me to be able to, you know, connect with people, even with a huge language barrier, um, and just feel like a bit more a part of, I guess, our planet in that way. 